Yeah, good morning students. Today we are going to discuss IIT JE NEET Foundation and the topic vectors. See there are physical quantities are two types. One is scalar, another is vector. Scalars are nothing but the quantities which have only magnitude but no direction. Vectors are both magnitude and direction. How the vectors have both magnitude and direction. Example vectors force force is a vector quantity scalar quantity like distance speed and work power all these are scalar quantities which do not have any direction see if for example if there is a plane if it is landing onto the airport so the plane has to come in a specific direction there we have to apply vectors See, there is certain specific direction it has to be down and it should be reached to the land see ground and uh, should go on see such cases for example you have some target you are applying arrow so there is some direction is required so wherever direction is also included along with the magnitude along with the units along with the numerical values if direction is also combined then such quantities are called vector quantities basically vector operations see there are different types of vectors are there see in the maths of vectors if you take see the basic vector calculus vectors scalar products unit vectors basic definitions of the vectors see the basic definitions of the vector vector is a quantity which is having both magnitude and direction. Magnitude is nothing but scalar. So, scalar quantity, which has both units and uh, so numerical value. The combination of unit and numerical value is scalar. See, perhaps here it has the unit is also required as well as some numerical value. For example, you take a distance. Distance uh, of, so from one place to another place. You are telling that distance from Hyderabad to Mumbai around 500 kilometers. See there 500 is the numerical value, kilometer is the unit. That is scalar. So displacement is shortest distance. For example, aerial distance you take. The aerial distance between Hyderabad to Mumbai. There shortest distance will come to the picture. So there displacement, what we will call displacement. Displacement is a vector quantity which has both magnitude and direction. So the basically the vectors you take the graphical representation there is an arrow mark will be there the magnitude of vector mod of d vector bar like that you are going to have. See unit vectors in the unit vectors you take in the Cartesian coordinate system three dimensional system so there are x y and z axis will be there along x axis there is certain so change in its position from its origin along y axis there is certain change in its position from its origin so that vector position vector is represented by the x i plus y j plus z k so x is the distance which is from the x axis and uh, so on x axis the x is the distance on y axis in the y is the distance and z axis it is located so the point x y z is the c coordinate point so x is the x y z x i i j k are the unit vectors see i j k are the unit vectors the vector concepts if you go to see the unit vectors are nothing but the i i is the unit vector along x axis j is the unit vector along y axis and k is the unit vector along z axis see the basic vector combinations the vector operations you take the basic vector combination resolution onto components what are the resolution of the components see any vector will be resolved into two two or three different okay see two different uh, so components like for example a is the vector ax and ay ax is okay the component of vector along x axis so for a, a vector ax is the 
component of vector along x axis a x is equal to a cos theta if the vector a is at an angle with the horizontal theta the theta is the horizontal the the inclination with the horizontal the inclination of the vector with the horizontal is theta a is the vector which is having some inclination with the horizontal angle theta so ax is nothing but a cos theta ay is nothing but a sin theta this is the resolution of the vector one vector can be split into two different components the two different components are ax and ay so the vector resolved into components the components ax is a cos theta ay is a sin theta let us take there is some see here the component calculations how to get the component calculations see for a vector a at an angle the vector is there so the vector a let us say the vector a is 2 the angle is see 30 degrees then horizontal component see the vector a the magnitude of vector a is 2 the angle is 30 degrees means 2 cos 30 degrees 2 cos 30 so it becomes 2 cos 30 is nothing but if you try to calculate see here the magnitude of vector is given the magnitude of vector is see that is 2 the theta means 30 degrees here a cos theta ax is equal to horizontal component along x axis a cos theta so it means that 2 cos 30 2 cos 30 cos 30 value root 3 by 2 so 2 into root 3 by 2 2 into root 3 by 2 2 to get cancel root 3 value 1.732 see the value got 1.732 see that is the vector a along x axis so similarly if you try to find vector a along vertical vertical component is what ay see ay is equal to a sin theta ay is equal to a sin theta what is the a value a value is here a value is 2 sin 30 sin 30 is it is 1 by 2 so 2 into 1 by 2 approximately it is 1 near to the 1 0.99999 becomes it is 1 see approximation values that is the vector components horizontal component is ax vertical component is ay in that way you can find the vector components is a by using trigonometry we will get this so coming to the the vector components you take any value other values also if you take other values instead of 2 you can take 40 the angle you can take it is here 90 or something so you take the value 90 degrees if you take 90 degrees 40 90 so then try to calculate see 40 cos 90 cos 90 value horizontal component the vector a horizontal component and vertical components the values are like this sin 90 is 1 40 will be there so based on the values you are going to get the so vector components then vector concepts if you take the calculation of the vector addition of vectors let us take there are two vectors ax and bx ay by let us say the mag addition of vectors let us take a vector a magnitude is 2 and b mag a is at an angle of 30 degrees a is at an angle of 30 degrees and the b magnitude is 3 at an angle of c 60 degrees 
now you are adding these two vectors see ax plus bx the value you are going to get this so ax value means 2 cos 30 2 cos 30 root 3 that's 1.732 you got b cos 30 cos 60 3 cos 60 cos 60 value again 1 by 2 3 by 2 it's 1.5 so ax plus bx horizontal component should be added and the vertical component should be added the resultant magnitude is this this is the addition of vectors see addition of vectors how can you do it actually vectors here what are the vectors see that is that a is making an angle 30 degrees with the horizontal a is making an angle 30 degrees with the horizontal so it means you have to you have to take like this if you are taking the value let us take ax ax is a cos theta ax is a cos theta that is nothing but 2 cos 30 so it is root 3 value you are going to get it means the vector a the vector a if you write ax i compo unit vector and ayj unit vector along y axis so ax you got that is root 3 i ax is root 3 i ay is so ay is nothing but a sin 30 sin 30 is 1 so approximately it is sin 30 is 1 by 2 2 into 1 by 2 1 it will come so root 3 i plus 1 j this is the vector a what it is given in the problem and vector b if you try to calculate similarly so 3 cos 60 cos 61 see cos 60 is 1 by 2 3 by 2 it is 1.5 see 1.5 i cap will come observe carefully and 3 sin 60 3 sin 60 is nothing but 3 into root 3 by 2 3 into root 3 by 2 that is by by is approximately how much you got so 2.59 approximately you will get 2.59 j cap now b vector you got the b vector see this is the b vector and this one will be the a vector once you got a and b vectors so the resultant resultant vector is nothing but so a plus b vector because addition of vectors you are doing a plus b vectors a plus b vectors is nothing but root 3 plus 1.5 root 3 value is 1.7 1.7 plus 1.5 approximately you are going to get 3.23 so 3.23 i cap plus similarly 2.59 plus 1 that is 3.59 will come so 3.59 j cap see this is the resultant vector resultant vector of okay so which is uh, see addition of vectors you can see normal addition only but here along x axis you have to add the components along y axis you should add the components in that way you can do the problem so ax ay here if you observe carefully any values you can take the components should be added so x axis component should be added similarly y axis component should be added then only you will get the resultant see this is the resultant vector 4.83 4.83 is the resultant vector that resultant vector having an angle 48 degrees 48 degrees is the angle angle which is going to be the resultant vector angle which is making an angle with the horizontal horizontal is making that much angle so in this way you can do the vectors addition so the vectors addition you can change the values and you can find out different vectors addition of vectors subtraction of vectors it can be done see coming to the there are combinations you can have so the calculation addition of vectors and graphical addition also See the graphical addition, adding of two vectors can be done by the result. See there are triangle of vectors is there. See triangle of vectors, parallelogram law of vectors are there. So triangle law of vectors are nothing but if the two vectors are the two sides of a triangle, then resultant 
vector is the third side of the triangle and which is in opposite direction in the reverse direction the reverse direction here a is the first vector and b is the second vector so they are in one direction but this is the resultant r is the resultant vector by using triangle of vectors you can have the resultant you can find out so resultant of two vectors is can be find out by triangle of vectors what is triangle of vectors if the two vectors are the two sides of a triangle if the two vectors are the two sides of a triangle then third side of a triangle which is closing in the reverse direction treated as a resultant vector of the two vectors treated as a resultant vector of the two vectors that is triangle of vectors so another way of finding the resultant that is parallelogram law of vectors what is parallelogram law of vectors if the two vectors are the two sides of a prag two sides of a parallelogram then the diagonal of a parallelogram is treated as a resultant of two vectors the diagonal of a parallelogram treated as a resultant of two vectors of course we can learn that things so see adding of vectors can be done by like this addition of vectors and the subtraction is also similar subtraction so how addition you will be doing similarly subtraction also you have to take into see resolution of vectors components components should be added so then product of vectors the product of vectors the scalar product is there vector product is there scalar product is nothing but the dot product vector product is cross product see scalar product the product of two vectors a dot b is a b cos theta see a cross b a b sin theta see dot scalar product that is uh, dot product a dot b a a b cos theta scalar product of the see it is the two vectors you will be joining in the we in the physics this facility is there like okay see joining two so vectors by combining that you will get a scalar result that scalar work is a scalar product of force and displacement force is a vector quantity displacement is a another vector quantity if you multiply force and displacement you will get the work similarly force and velocity force and a vector quantity velocity is a vector quantity the work scalar product of force and velocity is a power so many things are laid like that so something like the vector product, scalar product of magnetic induction and aerial vector that is magnetic flux it is also scalar so a dot b is equal to ab cos theta so basic formula for scalar product is a dot a dot b a is the first vector and b is the second vector a dot b is equal to ab cos theta so this can be find out if the two vectors are there let us take here two vectors the first vector ax a vector is axi plus ayj plus ajk second vector B, bxi byj plus bjk so if you find the dot product of these two vectors a dot b is equal to ax bx you should be multiplied to c components only here x component and x component of the second vector ax into bx plus so y components so ay into by similarly z components az into bz all should be added ax bx plus ay by plus az bz so this is this is the scalar product or dot product or inner product of the two vectors see these uh, applications you take in the physics we have many applications for the scalar products like work is the so work is the scalar product of force and displacement so if you go to there is some calculations if you if you try to take the values the scalar products a dot b if you try to find out a value b value if you place the values for example you take a is equal to so a is equal to 2i plus c3j plus c3 
64k so similarly you can take a value 3i c4j c plus 5k or something you can take approximately any so now if you try to find out a dot b a dot b is equal to what is the answer of a dot b if you try to find out a dot b see a dot b value is 30h a dot b value you got 30h how you got this 38 multiply 2 into 3 6 see 2 into 3 6 plus 4 into 3 12 6 plus 12 18 5 into 4 20 18 plus 20 it means that so 20 plus 18 is 38 you got the 38 answer a dot b value you will get in this manner so you have to just multiply a component should be multiplied 2 into 3 that is 6 3 into 4 12 6 plus 12 4 into 5 20 so 6 plus 12 plus 20 that becomes 38 you will get value like this see simple this is a scalar product between two vectors scalar product between two vectors so the expressions these are the expressions you can take the values and you can find out see matrix approach is also there matrix approach for the scalar product if you try to find out a transpose ax ay az and b vector if you multiply these two ax ay az and bx by bz so then you will get the value ax bx plus ay by plus az bz that is nothing but a dot b this is the matrix form matrix uh, type of uh, product you can do it in this manner also matrix matrix representation of the two vectors so that also you will get the value so in that way you can get the c we will continue in the next video the vector product or cross product thank you very much thanks for watching